Hello everybody, Keith here again. <clears throat> Another repotting video. Not quite sure what I'm going to find in here. This is uh, the first promenade I bought, or promenade, however you pronounce it. This is uh, Silvana. Um, the problem is that there's a pseudo bulb just there, which in the last couple of days has turned brown and gone soft. So clearly I need to get rid of that, and to do that, of course, I've got to get it out of the pot. Like the twinkles that I videoed earlier on today, that's been in the um, Westland compost, um, and just like those, it's staying wet forever, just not drying out at the bottom. I think the pot's too big for it. Looking at this, I've obviously gone by the um, the size of the. Um, yeah, that's going to take some getting off without taking that new growth out. Uh, don't tell me what. Oh. Oh, that's not nice. Oh dear. Right, let's see whether I can get rid of that. I think I have. I think I can. Because if I lose that, there we are. Now, thankfully, there's no sign of any anything naughty. On that rhizome, I'm going to put some cinnamon on it, and um, we'll uh, go from there. But it's a funny old plant, is this? It's never grown phenomenally well for me, um, but it, it has lately. It's put up quite a nice new growth there. And lovely new growth there, which thank goodness I managed it. But the interesting thing about this one is it's come out the top of the pseudo bulb, not out of the base, but it's got roots on it. They've both got roots on. Now the roots in the middle really are not very clever. I'm going to leave some of that on just to try and help it anchor, but that really does mean I've got to look for a smaller pot. Now, can I get it into something like that? Yes. So I'm going to end up potting it right down. Ooh, now that's going to be interesting. That is going to be very, very interesting. I'd better put some cinnamon on that um, piece of rhizome if I can find it again. There we are. But um, no, that's going to be very interesting as to whether I can keep this going. Um, I'm going to do what I've done with the other uh, stuff that I've used with the Westland um, compost. I'm going to put some um, coarse bark in the bottom to try and make sure that beyond the roots doesn't stay dry and if I then work that in there like that I think there's a fair chance that we're going to get the roots in with some of this compost. Now as I understand it promeneas or promeneas or whatever are very closely related to zygopetalums and they also like to be on the damp side. But I'm finding with a lot of plants that they say, oh, you know, they, they like to be damp. 
Yeah, but they don't like to be wet. And I've, I've been caught once or twice doing that, um, getting it wrong and plants that would actually be happier in bark have ended up in this. Um, and you end up, unfortunately, with something that um, doesn't thrive. But what I have known with this is it doesn't like being in the same uh, compost very long. I've repotted this already several times. Um, and every time that I repotted it, it's done better. Um, it's not a fast growing plant, that's the other thing about it. Um, it really do, it isn't. It's a very small growing thing. Lovely little flowers, bright yellow flowers on it. Well, I've, got a, I've only got two Primenias, Primenias, um, and this is the, the first one I had. Um, as I say, I, it wasn't very happy. I got it wrong, got it too wet. Um, and I think I've got to keep my fingers crossed that I've, I've done the right thing this time. So, thank you for watching. It's been a very quick and dirty one, but I've managed to get rid of that duff pseudo bulb and get it into a smaller pot, which obviously ought to, um, to drain a lot better. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you sometime soon.